Good evening from San Ignacio Town. With the 9 o'clock news, I am Patrick Jones. In the headlines, Belize and the OAS signed Poverty Alleviation Corporation Agreement, body of a man unearthed from a shallow grave near Belmopan, and a consultation on a partial scope agreement with Guatemala takes place on Friday in Belize City. Stay tuned for details of these and other stories coming up after these messages. Take a moment, feel the rhythm of life. It keeps beating. What if you took just a few seconds of every day to help someone else? Every minute, it's yours and mine, mine, mine. It's amazing how the smallest things can have the greatest impact. Make a difference. Pay it forward. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Are you always on the go? Tired of missing your favorite games while they're actually being played? Watch your games and sporting events live with Central TV and Internet's incredible My TV. Simply log on to www. MITV.BZ to get easy access to 25 channels no matter where you are. With Central TV and Internet's My TV, you're always in the game. More vehicle owners are switching to the PureGuard line of motor oils and with good reason. PureGuard comes in different grades and specifications. It carries the API certification and comes with the West Track stamp of approval, guaranteed to make your engine run cleaner and longer, up to 10,000 miles. With PureGuard motor oil, your engine will have less wear and tear, give you maximum performance on the road, and give your vehicle better fuel mileage. PureGuard, good quality, affordable oil. Distributed exclusively by West Track Limited, with branches in Spanish Lookout, Belmopan, Belize City, and Orange Walk Town. Here now is the news in details. A three-year cooperation agreement designed to assist families living in poverty in Belize was signed this morning. Under the agreement, the Ministry of Human Development, Social Transformation and Poverty Alleviation will get close to a quarter of a million dollars for the implementation of the project in the area of social inclusion. According to a government press release, the project is significant as it will assist the Ministry of Human Development to continue the social safety net reforms that started in 2008. The focus of the activities under the project, according to the official release, is to strengthen and expand services to families on the government's conditional cash transfer program. Minister of Human Development Anthony Martinez signed on behalf of Belize. Many times we think, just give them a job, and that will solve everything. And yes, employment is a big piece of the puzzle. But I know from the war programs that I have been involved in, that it is not as easy as that. When people are unskilled and very poor, and have been in a survival mode, sometimes for generations, they need support to even get them to a mental place where they can function in a regular employment situation. Under the cooperation agreement, the ministry's case management system will also be strengthened. Minister Martinez says that under the project, persons involved will receive additional skills training and assistance in accessing uh, official documents such as uh, the social security card and the setting up of bank accounts. 
The body of a man was unearthed from a shallow grave near the Springfield community just outside of Belmopan yesterday. Police say that around 5 o'clock yesterday morning, they conducted a search in an area about five miles off the main road to Springfield community, where they found the shallow grave. After digging about a foot into the ground, police say they found the decomposed body of 61-year-old Osmar Ramos with multiple chop wounds to the neck, back of the head, shoulder and the chin. Belmopan police have since detained three men pending murder investigation. A burglary was reported in the Las Flores area of Belmopan this past weekend. 47-year-old Angelita Emanuel reported to police that on Friday morning, she and her family traveled to Punta Gorda town. On their return home on Wednesday, Emanuel said she discovered that her home on Montalvo Street had been burglarized. According to police, stolen were electronic items, jewelry, and a collection of coins, all with a total value of $6,282. Police investigations continue. A motorcyclist has died following a road traffic accident on the Southern Highway. 60-year-old Cornelio Miranda, a resident of Santa Cruz Village, died while undergoing treatment at the Independence Polyclinic last night. Police say that around 6.30 last night, they visited an area on Santa Ro in Santa Rosa Village where they found Miranda lying in a drain in front of the bus stop. He was taken to the Independence Polyclinic in an unconscious state and later died while receiving treatment. Back at the, back at the scene, that is, where Miranda was found, police say they found a damaged motorcycle he was riding. The initial police investigation shows that Miranda was heading from Santa Cruz Village to Santa Rosa when upon reaching a curve near the bus stop, he reportedly lost control and went into the drain. You're watching the 9 o'clock news. Coming up after the break, police investigate a case of carnal knowledge in Punta Gorda. We'll be right back. The Lee's Camping Experience would like to thank everyone who makes BCE successful and meaningful. To our summer camp supporters and volunteers who came from communities across Belize. To all who supported, contributed, and volunteered with our Harvest for Kids project. Funds raised through last year's rice and corn crop will help maintain BCE's children's programs through 2015. You can also support BCE by buying your bag of Circle R Premium Rice with the Harvest for Kids logo, now in a new package. Together we can and will make a positive difference in this beautiful country of Belize. You too can ride off into the sunset. Milan motorbikes are very affordable. There's a high availability for parts and a wide selection of models to choose from. My Milan, my bike. Available countrywide. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Welcome back to the 9 o'clock news. A man from Punta Gorda town has been detained pending investigation of a case of unlawful carnal knowledge. This follows a report by a 13-year-old girl who, in front of police and the social workers, said that on several occasions dating back to November of last year, her stepfather had been having sexual intercourse with her. 
The 13-year-old girl was taken to the Punta Gorda Hospital, where a medical officer certified that not only was she carnally known, but the teenage girl is also 21 to 24 weeks pregnant. The stepfather is in police detention pending investigations. A financial literacy summer camp is currently underway in Belize City. Over 800 primary and secondary school students are taking part in the event, which is aimed at teaching young people how to manage money and the business. The financial literacy camp is also teaching the participants the basics of budgeting. A series of consultations on a partial scope agreement with Guatemala is being held in various locations across Belize. So far, technical experts from the Ministries of Trade and Agriculture, as well as the Belize Agricultural Health Authority and the Customs Department, have been to Spanish Lookout, Orange Walk, and Dangriga. On Friday, the consultation moves to Belize City, where producers and persons involved in cross-border trade will meet to discuss various aspects of the agreement. Friday's consultation meeting will be held at the Belize Training and Employment Center starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. According to an official release, the objective of the consultations is also to sensitize the private sector of the benefits covered under the partial scope agreement. The matters discussed at these sessions, where possible, will be addressed at the upcoming Belize-Guatemala Administrative Commission meeting scheduled for the 6th and the 7th of August, 2015. The news on the National Channel. More vehicle owners are switching to the PureGuard line of motor oils and with good reason. PureGuard comes in different grades and specifications. It carries the API certification and comes with the Westrack stamp of approval, guaranteed to make your engine run cleaner and longer, up to 10,000 miles. With PureGuard motor oil, your engine will have less wear and tear, give you maximum performance on the road, and give your vehicle better fuel mileage. PureGuard, good quality, affordable oil. Distributed exclusively by West Track Limited, with branches in Spanish Lookout, Belmopan, Belize City, and Orange Walk Town. Are you always on the go? Tired of missing your favorite games while they're actually being played? Watch your games and sporting events live with Central TV and Internet's incredible My TV. Simply log on to www. MITV.BZ to get easy access to 25 channels no matter where you are. With Central TV and Internet's My TV, you're always in the game. Turning now to weather news, moist and unstable conditions continue to affect the country. The general forecast for Belize and her coastal waters is for cloudy skies with some showers and thunderstorms, mainly over the south tonight. Showers and thunderstorms will become isolated tomorrow morning. Winds are easterly at 10 North to 20 knots with occasional to higher to gusts. The, the sea state right will be moderate to rough. Operators of small craft are advised to exercise caution in rough seas. Low temperatures tonight will be around 80 now degrees Fahrenheit along the coast, 74 degrees Fahrenheit inland, and 70 degrees Fahrenheit up in the hills. And High temperatures on Friday will range models, from 86 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast to 90 degrees path, Fahrenheit inland. It will be a comfortable 78 so degrees Fahrenheit up at the exposed areas the of the mountain Pine Ridge and along the Maya Mountains in the south. The tides. A high tide occurs tonight at 8 minutes past 11 o'clock. A low tide follows at 18 minutes past 4 o'clock in the morning. The sun will rise at 5.27 in the morning. It will set at 6.31 tomorrow evening. The extended forecast, valid through to Saturday afternoon, is for only isolated showers or isolated thunderstorms developing. And that is a look at the weather with information provided by forecaster Francisca Wellington at the Belize Weather Bureau. And now for the latest on Hurricane Dolores, here is the tropical weather update.
To summarize the news, here are the headlines again. Belize and the Organization of American States signed Poverty Alleviation Cooperation Agreement, body of a man unearthed from a shallow grave near Belmopan, and a consultation on a partial scope agreement with Guatemala takes place on Friday in Belize City. With the headlines, we end this edition of the 9 o'clock news. Thank you for joining us. I am Patrick Jones. Have a good evening and a good night.